this is the one. This is the one I've been looking forward to all year. Out of all the smartphones, this is definitely at the top of my list of the phone that I was really interested in covering. So yes, this is the new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, long name, but it's the follow-up to the original Galaxy Fold that I unboxed about a year ago, a little bit after that. But anyway, I'm excited for this phone. Let's see what's inside of the box. So let me get inside of here. I think first we need to slide this off. Okay, so we have this uh, kind of cool pattern here on the front. I think this opens up like so. And we have changed the shape of the future. Introducing Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, reimagine, yada, yada, yada. I don't need to read all of that. <laughs> all right, so um, inside of here is going to be some paperwork and nothing much else. And then boom, there we go. This is the Galaxy Z Fold 2 just waiting there for me. Let me pull this out and set this to the side. Just one second, we'll be right back to it, don't worry. Um, but also inside of here, we have a little placeholder there. And then we do have a uh, USB-C cable. And then we also do have a fast charger. So yeah, I think that's it. So unlike last year, you're not getting anything extra inside of the box. So for a phone that costs um, close to $2,000, you're not getting any type of headphones. You're not getting uh, any Galaxy Buds. You're not even getting that protective case that they included with the original Galaxy Fold to help protect it. You're not getting that at all. So all of that stuff, you're gonna have to buy separately. But now let's get to the star of the show, as I like to say. And this is the Galaxy Z Fold 2. So it has some care instructions here. Don't press on the screen and making sure you fold it correctly. But I'm a veteran here. I know what I need to do. Um, but let me go ahead and get this plastic off. And here we go, our first look at the Galaxy Z Fold 2. But it does come in two different colors, so you can get it in Mystic Black or the new Mystic Bronze um, that they debuted with the Galaxy Note 20. And you can even customize the color of the hinge. I think you have four colors to choose from if you wanna do that. But yeah, it does look excellent and it's more boxy, so they've kind of like, uh, flattened out the edge of the phone this year. So I'm actually liking this look. Um, you still have a fingerprint sensor right here on the right hand side of it. Um, you have your volume buttons there as well. Um, and then on the other side, you don't have anything but your SIM card tray. Um, and at the bottom, you will find a USB-C port and also one of the uh, speakers here. Uh, it does have stereo speakers. And let me close this thing for the first time actually. Feels good. So they do have some improvements with the hinge that they've um, brought over from the Galaxy Z Flip as far as trying to keep dust out and things like that. It has like a little sweeper brush system inside of there to keep that stuff out. Um, but also it does have their flex hold system that I'll show you once I get this phone booted up. Um, but you see that you can kind of fold it and it will hold in place. So there, are, there is some software that will take advantage of that. Like you can have like the camera app and stuff like that open. But again, I'll show you that in a little bit, but the hinge does feel good. So I'm liking the build quality of this phone, but let me get booted up and all set up real quick. And I'll be back in one second, boom. <sighs> okay, so you may hear people say that you just gotta try it before you kind of get it, right? Or you understand it. And I think foldable phones is definitely that, but I will tell you after using a couple of foldable phones myself, I'm really impressed with this display because it is running at 120 Hertz. It is adaptive and this is a 7.6 inches and it is their dynamic AMOLED Infinity Flex display. And then you also have a 6.2 inch HD plus um, display here on the front that is considerably bigger than the uh, uh, original Galaxy Fold. So that is gonna be like the biggest improvement for me um, just as far as usability for this thing. Now also new this year is this new hole punch camera for the front facing camera for the inside display instead of having that big notch that they had in the right hand corner of the original Galaxy Fold. And so you also have another uh, camera right here on the front when you do close the phone. And then you also have three more cameras on the back. So the uh, selfie cameras that I just showed you come in at 10 megapixels, um, but these rear cameras, um, including the ultra wide, the wide angle, and also the telephoto are going to be coming in at 12 megapixels. So you don't get that 108 megapixel you know, sensor that you have with like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. 
but uh, hopefully we'll see how these cameras perform um, once I put them to the test. And some of the other general specs for this phone include the Snapdragon 865 Plus, and then 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. And the big thing with that is that you don't get any type of expandable storage, so no micro SD card slot, and you don't have any other storage configuration, so that's all you get. Um, and then it also does have 5G, both sub six and millimeter wave. You have a 4,500 milliamp hour battery inside of there, and you still have that wireless power share feature, so you can place something on the back of the phone and then charge it. And everything else when it comes to Bluetooth and all of that other stuff is going to be top of the line like you expect from the high-end Samsung phones. And you know what, let me do a quick comparison with the original Galaxy Fold here. So you see a big difference with the um, outer display or the cover display. So on the original Fold, you have a lot of wasted space there. You have a lot of bezels going on. Um, but on this new phone, you have a lot better screen ratio there. So you have a lot more stuff that you can do with it. And it doesn't feel like you're just confined to a very small space like it does on the original Fold. And just getting both of these open up here, you see you have 7.3 inches on the Galaxy Fold and then you have 7.6 inches on the Z Fold 2 and it makes a significant difference. And you also don't have that big notch that you have on this original Galaxy Fold at that top right hand corner that has the cameras. But yeah, you just have that hole punch camera and it looks just a lot cleaner here on the Z Fold 2. And just having that extra screen real estate is gonna be good for having multiple apps open at the same time and just for watching videos. And just for kicks, here is how they look side by side. This is from the top down angle, and this is from the right hand side. This is from the bottom. And here's a look at the two hinges. Oh, and let's take a look at the flex mode real quick. So this allows you to fold the phone up or bend it up a little bit and it will hold in place. And so it's pretty sturdy there, it's not gonna wobble. And then you can open up something like the camera app. And so now I'm able to not only see the preview, but also too, I have some controls down here so I can switch between the different modes. I'm here on the bottom half of the screen. And then also if I quickly take some pictures real quick, you see they, they populate right here on the left-hand side and I think I can swipe through them just like that. So um, I think this could be useful, especially if you just wanna kinda like prop this up and use this for like a video call. Um, so you can sit it here right on your desk and talk to people without having to like, you know, put it on a stand or anything like that. And so um, this will be working with other apps and things like that, but um, I'll cover that more in my full review. And so yeah, this is the new Galaxy Z Fold 2. So some extra little tidbits include that this does come with their um, Galaxy Z Premier service. So you get customized customer support. And also you get like um, access to a lot of different goodies, like a, a, a dinner from like a Michelin star restaurant and um, other different like discounts and stuff like that just for buying this really expensive phone. Um, and then also too, you will be able to get up to like $800 off if you do trade in the original Galaxy Fold. Those of you who were brave to buy that one like me. Um, and then also too, if you have other phones you can get up to like $650 off. Um, but this phone will be available for pre-order on September the 2nd at midnight on Eastern time. So you can buy this thing and, and try it out. And I know it's pricey, but I do wanna see um, your thoughts about this phone, whether or not you're gonna buy it or not, down in those comments down below. And also make sure you subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell because I have a lot of content, including my full review and some camera reviews and other different comparisons coming on this phone very soon. So make sure you're, you stay tuned for that. But like always, I do wanna thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.